Nice to meet you. How you doing, Tom? Good, good to see you. Nice to meet you. Have we met before? Yes. Oh. Punch, Timsa Tequila, MCI World. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Raleigh, North Carolina. We are at the Raleigh Convention Center at the 2024 United Motor Coach Association Expo. Uh, and this is an annual event just like ABA, which is where we were three weeks ago. Uh, if you haven't seen that, definitely check that one out. I released that video about three weeks ago. But today, we're gonna check out what UMA is all about here in the Raleigh Convention Center. Now, unlike ABA, there's not gonna be as many travel destinations and uh, tour representatives. But at UMA, there's definitely a lot more tech stuff. So there's gonna be bus manufacturers, all the peripherals, everything that has to do with a motor coach or a bus is gonna be here in the exposition hall. And we're gonna go check it out. I think in about an hour, they're gonna do the ribbon cutting and that's gonna signify the opening of the showroom where all the cool stuff's gonna be. Outside of the showroom, there's definitely classes and all kinds of networking opportunities. So if you're in the bus industry and you haven't been to one of these, definitely set yourself up to visit next year. Let's go check out the UMA 2024 Exhibition Hall. Hi folks, welcome to Raleigh, North Carolina, the home of Expo 41. It's been over 40 years having a great time here. Welcome to Bus Expo. Check it out, it's Josh Henley. Hey, how you doing? You guys haven't checked out his stuff. He posts regularly on Facebook, and uh, you drive for Mayo Tours? I'm from Louisiana. Louisiana, okay, okay. Louisiana. Yeah, and he does some great stuff. He really knows how to show people what our lives are like. And you do a lot of good food scenes, too. I appreciate it. Man after my own heart. I love you guys. We've got uh, a lot of activity going on here. The countdown here, right? With the seconds. Five, five, four, really loud. three. Of course, at the Tour Rider booth, there are pretzels. Mmm. And there's beer. Of course, some old friends showed up. Yes, Mungana and Tom. This time, correct. Did I say it right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, they're at the same time. <laughs> you guys practice that. <laughs> Okay, uh, that was day one of the convention. I'm with Albert and Rachel Greenwell, Motor Coach Life. Uh, if you haven't yeah, checked her stuff here. out, check, check, check out her TikTok channel. But we left the convention. We're gonna get, get some, some East Coast Coney dogs at <laughs> Snoopy's Hot Dogs and more. Yeah, there is dinner at UMA, but uh, I get super overwhelmed and overstimulated after non-stop talking and interna interacting with people. So right now, all I want to do is shove my face full of tube meat and not talk. <laughs> so with that said, I'll catch you guys in the morning. We're gonna go check out more of UMA's showroom and actually check out the buses. So, see you guys in the morning. 
the next day. Hey, good morning from Raleigh, North Carolina, day two. And in a little bit, we're gonna head down to that showroom. We're gonna interview some people, show you guys around. But first, I'm gonna take a shower and get something to eat. We'll catch you guys in the showroom. You know, I swear, everywhere I go, the cold follows me. It was actually warm yesterday and it's really cold today. I wish I wore a coat. At least it's not snowing like it was in Nashville. Yeah, I mean, me too. Howdy. So Albert ended up coming with me on this trip. And Albert's a systems developer and a uh, photographer and a videographer. And he works for Peoria Charter. Uh, unfortunately, Dennis is on vacation. So he wasn't able to come to UMA with me this time. But also with us is Brandon Hurley, who is a driver trainer for Greyhound. And uh, he happens to live in Raleigh and uh, he watches my YouTube channel. So when he found out that I was coming to UMA, we uh, linked up. How long have you worked for Greyhound? About six years now. Six years as a driver trainer and you still you still drive routes? Oh yeah. Now what's your favorite bus? Prevost X345. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Morning. 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 It's too cold to be eating outside. No. <laughs> yeah, the sun helps. <laughs> So the concept isn't that different from ABA uh, in Nashville that we went to three weeks ago, but first booth we're going to check out today, ABC Van Bull. In Nashville three weeks ago at ABA, I didn't get a chance to interview anyone at ABC. Uh, Dennis and I just kind of checked out the bus ourselves. Everyone was kind of occupied and I didn't really want to bug and bother people. I just didn't want to become a pest. So I, I kind of left the guys alone. They're probably making bus sales and that's something you don't want to disrupt. But right now, I have Tom Peoples behind me, the uh, Vice President of Marketing. Let's go check out what this uh, 2024 Van Hul CX-45 has to offer. What's up, Tom? How you doing? I'm sorry we didn't get to talk at ABC. Hey, we're all busy. Like I was telling people, the one thing I don't want to do with this camera is to disrupt a bus sale. No, no, Right? No, that's no, your no, bread that's and butter. Right, exactly. <laughs> then I won't be back. Exactly. No. <laughs> so, so that's it's a good plan. That's a great plan, actually. <laughs> but this, so. is, this is the very bus that you guys had in, in Nashville. Yeah, we're real excited. So this is one of our 24 models here. Um, we did a lot of enhancements to this. We actually, we kind of use a very evolutionary approach to it. So, you know, follow me Let's out. take a yeah, look. Quick. Yeah. And I see you got Starlink on board. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's been a really cool kind of program. Our good friend James Wang, you might know Did that Did I guy. launch that? Yeah, you he helped <laughs> us get that rolling, and we're really excited about it. But it's really cool. It's uh, a unique offer. We've had a lot of interest in it. Yeah. And this is our CX-45. Uh, a couple unique things about it. Uh, one, it has what we call a modified parcel rack here. So when you come in, the idea is to make it very open for your passengers as they enter it. So you kind of see it's opened up like this. Also it gives us room for larger monitors in the very front. Um, and then we do, of course, a straight parcel rack, open parcel rack, and then we do a full contour. But actually, it kind of has these scouts, but it would continue down there as well too. And we like that. A lot of our customers like the ability to have some, you know, some flexibility, but it really kind of creates a bit of a dramatic entrance. Um, obviously, with our color changing lights here, um, these are actually just adjusted there on the dash, so you can have any color you want. If you're carrying a team, and I don't know, maybe it's NC State, then it might be red, or we might change it to blue if it's UNC. We recently did some other changes too. Um, we've turned our laboratory to the side. It's kind of cool because we have a window in there and don't worry you can't see in it. That's the one thing we made sure um, but it gives it a lot more room. So I love the design. fact that the natural light can enter your restroom. And the rear windows are now standard and of course back here as well too and we kind of the thing we really like about it is it tends to to your point natural light but it kind of opens it up. So yeah. it, you know the idea is let's make every seat a good seat. Um, this particular one has our you know our leather quilted seating and we offer it obviously you know in any any version you would like who makes your seats um these are keel seats keel. Yeah, we have a uh, the standard both 
with an all cloth, a uh, leather insert, and then full leather as well too. Definitely already see the new dash. Love the driver's area. When How do you pronounce it? I always say Van Hool, but I love it. the correct way is Von Van Van Hool. Van Hool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not Van Hool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Van Hool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so Von Hool. Don't worry, we get it. Just America. Depends, depends on how far south you are. It's really well, and how far east or west, but yeah. So I have a lot of you guys asking, what is going on with the Von Hool TX series? Mm -hmm. uh, have you guys stopped making them? They seem to be elusive now. Yeah, they. Uh, we have made so many updates to the CX series that the CX series has really kind of overtaken our TX series. There's many on the road. We'll continue to support all those vehicles. But you're right. The bulk of our focus has really been in and on the CX series. If I wanted to buy a brand new TX today, can I still? That actually, we would look at that on essentially a case by case basis. Um, and uh, we we have been asked. Um, obviously, it makes sense if it is a large enough order. But again, I don't want to speak out yeah, of turn. Yeah, yeah. I hear you, you know, for me to say that it wouldn't be fair to ABC or, or Von Hool at this point. We're all still recovering from all the multiple yeah, supply chain shortages. That's a good point. So, you know, keep in mind that's one of the things that many folks have done is if we can focus on one particular one, that allows us to make sure that we're maximizing the amount of throughput we can get. Yeah. Oh, this this is a radiator? Yep. So and this comes radiator out. swing out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's right, there's really a lot of space so in there's here. There's a lot of space. There's, there's like a lot of folks. I mean, if I you, can yeah, you get a perspective. I can sit in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I joke everybody. It's like you know the work on the tractor trailers. They stand in the engine bay. Well, we're close. <laughs> yeah. We added the E fans right here. This is for the radiator. And then we um, have added the E fans on the charge cooler on the other side. And I have Brian Nelson, Chief Engineer, right? Is that your title? Yeah. yeah Chief Engineer, ABC yep. Companies. Always a pleasure to hang out with you. What's the purpose of making the headlights swing out like that? Well, the purpose is serviceability. So anything that we can do to make operations easy, easier on the technicians, um, no, no, we're able to swing this out, drop the bumper, pull the switch. You have access to um, the ballast, to the headlights, and to the daytime. Easy in, lights. easy out. Yep, that's it. Beautiful. We just finished uh, hanging out at the ABC Von Hool booth. I learned how to properly pronounce Von Hool, um, but I just want to show you guys. This is this is our industry. You have people from Prevo hanging out, joking with the people at ABC Van Hool. I mean, even though they're competitors, I love that everybody in this industry just gets along. Prevo Van Hool collaboration here. Heck yeah, I love it. It just shows our industry. You know, our industry is a close knit one. This is beautiful. Oh really? Yeah, he watches all of your uh, <laughs> videos and stuff. That's his new company over there. It's called Pedal Pro. Pedal Pro, okay. And he has watched all your videos. Oh my he gosh! Dying to run into you. Oh my You're gosh! Like famous. <laughs> he has been dying to run into you. I, I will go say you hi. Have to use the um, influence for him to to oh, come really? to this. Oh my yes. gosh! Oh my god! Yes. I'm sorry. Let me What's your down. name? I'm Renee. Well, actually, this is Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine. Yeah. But your name's Renee. Yes. Okay. This is. Nice well, to meet Dad, you. Him and my daughter um, started this, but yeah. he's wore her out today. So. Oh, okay. So you're taking her place. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? This is Jane Wang. <laughs> <laughs> the one and only. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mr. Uh, your, Hodo, wife, your wife told me all about it. Buzz, geeks, and something enthusiasts and pedal pro. Hey, look. How are you? about your dad? Thank I you. lost mine oh. not too long that ago. That was rough. Yeah. yeah. This is our first year at, uh, at UMA. And uh, this is, uh, we refer to it as a pedal pro, and the platform actually sits between the uh, steering column and the seat base. Thorny Ro Rouse. Rouse, yes. Thorny Rouse, a product that was born from a driver. 13 years. 13 years motor coach driver. He knew what was good, what was bad, what was needed, and he developed his own thing, and today, he has pedal pro. It, it uh, uh, eases the strain on your ankle. Oh, okay. And uh, gives you a little. It's like a two and a quarter inch riser. Yeah. And uh, you have better leverage. You can keep maintain your uh, foot position 
uh, your heel can stay in one spot and you just float from uh, left to right. And you so can, can you do without the carpet? Yes. Okay, yes. that's just another another yeah. thing, okay. If you got nice, pretty expensive shoes and you don't want to mess them up, you can just get you a carpeted nice. base. Nice. And then I think down the line, I may consider putting like a heel pad here. Okay. Um, and how can people get a hold of you if they need a... They can uh, grab one of the business cards and uh, go online. We, you know, we're just starting with that also, but info at pedalpro.com. Info at pedalpro.com. Right. Guys, go check out Mr. Rouse's Pedal Pro if you have, if you're a driver or you own buses and this drives you nuts, then this is your solution right here. There you go. And this came from a person that actually drove a coach, so. Still driving. Still driving, still, drive. still driving. And you drive for Christian Tours. But Bert Christian Tours, going to DC next week. And you you're, you guys have Prevos. Prevos, all Prevos. Prevos. Which is why. Which is why these, these are designed for Prevos. Prevos. But Beautiful. again, we're looking to expand and cover any motor coat for any driver. Awesome. And, and you how can, soon can people expect we're MCI? We're probably shooting for the fall. The fall? Yeah, there's some things have we MCI need to work and out. Van Hool and, the plan. and tour riders? Yeah, oh, Mercedes. Oh, nice. I've nice. looked around <laughs> since I've been here. We don't want to leave anyone out. <laughs> thank you so yes, much, sir, Mr. Thank Ross. you for your time. <laughs> this is the Prevo H560. There was only about 100 of these that were produced, and it is an articulated Prevo with dual front turning axles, uh, dual axle in the back, a articulation point, and then a uh, single axle on the rear. And it's very nice to see one of these here because there's not many of these still in existence and still operating. I don't think, they definitely don't make them anymore, but we're at the rear of the coach. As you can see, there's a door at the rear. So one all the way in the rear, one all the way in the front. And let's go inside and check out what the interior looks like. This brings back memories. We used to have Prevos with the interior steps like this. Wow. So guys, right off the bat, the dash looks exactly like some of the first generation H345s we bought uh, way back in the day, back in the 90s. I really miss the, uh, the grid dash panel. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's a nice grid pattern and I think the engineers use that to uh, make it easier to uh, know where to cut in the space. And then I love these these in, these dash lights, they, 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 this old school dash light, the, the little squares. Uh, when I was a kid, I always thought these were buttons, but uh, I've always wanted to push on them. But these are not buttons, they're just old school uh, dash lights. Uh, the dash is very familiar. Obviously, the ones we had didn't have the add-on uh, camera screen, and this fan I think is also aftermarket. I love that they put the video media deck here where the driver's uh, storage area is. This is not the original configuration. Uh, originally, it was there, so um, I think they they changed that. I don't know what this does. This does not look familiar, but this looks like temperature control. Uh, later on added and this is also different. There was no window here uh, in the uh, regular H345s. Uh, I don't think this was added on. This is original to the H560 um, But yeah, this little extra window for the driver is new uh, before uh, the only view the driver had ended here um, So that definitely helps bathroom yeah this okay. is uh and then to the left is the exit <laughs> careful wow what a crazy configuration so steps down that goes out and if you turn to the right that's the restroom so we used the restroom I gotta admit, it's kind of awkward being with you guys in a restroom. 
Uh, I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. Um, so we open the door. Right there is a step, so you really have to watch out not to walk out right away. And if you turn left, there's two steps going up into the cab. So be careful not to trip. And of course, everybody wants to know what the center of the bus looks like. This is the center. The big turning wheel. Can you guys see the wheel? Yeah. That's where it starts. And there's two handrails here. And it looks like the rails move in where so you can't really step on. That's that's soft. So it, it angles in. So these two rails uh, really want you to stay on the center. You don't want to walk on this. Um, this is made of, oh, it's like carpet material. Yeah, and that's just soft. That angles into the underbody of the coach. Um, and this is the part that pivots when it turns. Um, right to the aft of the midship articulated section are two tables and uh, face uh, two seats, set of seats facing each other. And these look like air filters. I thought they were speakers, but these are air filters, I think. I don't know if they're OEM or they're aftermarket. Oh, they're definitely OEM because the, the, the vent, these are vents. Yeah, vents. Uh, man, that's a lot of air, air pushing power. This is on my bucket list to drive one day. I don't know if it'll ever happen. Maybe I can talk venture tours and let me take this uh, around. But yeah, definitely a beautiful coach. Oh, here it is, guys. Here, here's the engine. Right here. Look at that. What a weird setup. The engine of this coach is right underneath the third window of the passenger uh, cabin. And as you can see, it just goes throughout the middle of the bus. It sits where the luggage would sit. Of course, I can't end this video without showing you guys, once again, Magna and Tom from Boost Magazina. And uh, if you missed it, they actually made a really cool uh, video about me and what I do at Pure Charter. These two are from Norway, and uh, you guys live in Oslo? I live where the jobs takes me. I don't have any place to stay, actually. That's why you can see on my YouTube channel that the videos are from all over the world. And we are trying to combine that even more now, traveling a little bit more. Like now we have been the third time to the US to make content here on the, on the fairs, and now we have been in Brazil, quite recently to make videos and where will we go next Tom? Oh, that's a good question. Where uh, <laughs> the buses are. Yeah, where oh, the we'll buses are. Asia. We want to go to Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, yeah, we're going to Bangkok. Really? It's really yeah. great being back in the US to see you, James. It's been a while. Absolutely. It's we'll always nice to see you guys. And now we have the tour rider. I want to come and test out the tour rider. Have you guys been in, have you guys seen it? You haven't driven it. No. Okay. Yeah, we haven't oh, yeah, yeah. We just right. drove yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Short, yeah. But not a customer owned yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. real vehicle. Yeah, so we'll have to make that happen. And I think Prevo is doing something in September. We hope so. We hope so. Yeah. We don't Tour know. Of the uh, factory, hello, maybe. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hint, hint, hint. <laughs> so, if you guys haven't yet, check out their channel, Boost Magazine. There's some really quality content on there. And for those of you that really want to see what buses are like outside the country, outside US, you need to check out Boost Magazine because they, not only in Norway, they go all over Europe and Brazil, and like they said, they're global. So if you want to see the global bus stage, that's the channel you need to check out. I'll put the link down below and I'll make it pop up here right now somewhere. And we do speak English in the channel, so you will also understand what we're saying. Even though we have an accent, <laughs> we still try our best. <laughs> oh, one more question before we end this. Has the buses in America slowly improved? In three years. Yeah, have you seen any difference? Uh, okay, I was, I was at UMA in 2015 in uh, New Orleans. And from that today, they have improved a lot, okay. absolutely. They are closer to the European 
uh, coach now. And you see the Thames size coming up with good product. You also have the two rider that you have both. And when you see the interior of the MCI and also the Prevo, it's much more airplane look alike. I think we can learn from each other from the both side of the world and make something great in the future. Agreed, agreed. Well, I think this is the best way to end a visit to a, a function like this is to meet up with fellow bus nuts from all over the world <laughs> and um, it's definitely always a pleasure to see these guys if you're watching this you're part of the motor coach world I love you. toodles <laughs>